basic enter import and the next is from random import and now you might ask why these stars are out there actually uh, what these stars define uh, with these stars I'm going to take all the components or all all the data from tk enter also from random right so now I'm going to create an object for our window we want to create a window equal tk let's go the next step I'm going to create as uh, I want to uh, you know store the background color for our you know background windows background so first I'm going to and this is going to be one of my favorite color that's the uh, green and I always prefer to use a uh, single quotation because sometimes you know double quotation makes a problem for us so it will be better if you use a single quotation the next step I'm going to use uh, create a frame for our you know window cool frame So now I want to set the height and width and height for our um, window, windows frame. So first is R, then R is a TK that is called, that it was we are calling from the root. Okay. So width this is gonna be 750. The next height it's gonna be 1300, right? Also want to give it a background color. So BG equal. Uh, remember we have uh, stored a, a green color in a variable. That's a variable name is uh, cool. So call it here. So now I want to set a button bind for button dot. Sorry. Oh God dot bind then say we also need a less than greater than and inside of this button minus yeah this is in a class actually so also want to call our future function function that we are going to call you know create in future so call it here so, <laughs> BGG this is going to be our function right so next stuff uh, I want to give it a grid then row will be zero and also column will be zero sorry zero so now I want to run our loop Let's say main loop there you go so we have created our you know all the objects that we need so now we want to define a function here so it's gonna be the diff uh, bgg and it's also sorry event and after that so our function has created so now I want to uh, declare a randint which is going to uh, call our colors so first I want to say a then it's going to be call rand randint right hmm. randint and it's going to be uh, 0 to 7 right the next stuff we want to we want to create another uh, randint uh, which will be a two the number two then rand sorry rand int so our this one also has the mistakes sorry for the mistakes rand int now it's okay let's say this one will be 0 to 7 right next stuff I wanna you know if we uh, create another uh, frame uh, object here and uh, frame and grid 
So fr is going to be fr2, right? Because I, we already have create uh, frame one. So now we want to create a frame two. So this is going to be frame blah, blah. So next one is a grid, right? Where are you, grid? Where are you? I'm searching you. Yeah. <laughs> there am I. So now I want to set the colors and all the colors that I want to set here. And this will be the you know, main things of our, I mean, excitable things of our project. So let's create, you know, create any colors here. <clears throat> So here our colors are created. So now I want to call. Uh, also, I have to say, uh, I have to call the colors uh, with. I want to connect our colors with uh, rand in, uh, rand in with the first rand int, right? So for that we have to say, uh, color uh, one equal, and this is gonna be colors, right? colors using the third bracket here uh, this will be a and the next stuff will be uh, color 2 this will be equal color two, this will be colors and a2 right So next stuff, I want to create uh, another frame for our background that the where we want to uh, set uh, showing up our colors. So first of frame. Okay, let's say frame call. Also, I has to uh, have to set the width and height and the background color for this. So R is going to be a width. 750 height will be 100 and the BG will be the cool right so here we have created and now um, I have to call a frame bind here right bind Let's say uh, sorry, less than greater than button minus. There you go. So it's working. Now I say BGG. So I have called the function here, right? So next step is a frame grid. Uh, frame grid. And uh, 
the row will be uh, 0 and column will be 0 okay row and column both are 0 so next stuff we have to do that is a uh, um, label that we want to create a label for our you know want to show up the text so let's say uh, label and uh, this one I want to call the frame 2 here hmm, that we have defined out there so frame text sorry <laughs> my mistake yeah. text equal and this is gonna be double quotation let's say uh, hello world right so I have created a hello world text and the next I want to set the background color for that that is a, a BG it's going to be uh, cool and also I want to set the FG color FG equal and this is going to be uh, sorry cool 2 right so So I think we are done here. Can we run this? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's working. It's working really, really nicely. But what is our text? I'm not seeing the text here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where, is the, where are you, man? Oh, God. Why well, the text are not shown up? Let me see what's going on there. So we have said the uh, for frame two, right? So where is our frame two? Our frame two frame it has nothing, and the grid has nothing. And inside of this frame two, uh, okay, okay. Does these colors are going similar? Okay. I think so. Let's do it now. Yeah, it's become a big problem. Mm. Now, there you go. So that's how we can create this uh, small project and this really, really nice. And I you know, enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any issue about that text, so I'm you not know, the text here. And you just go there. I'll show you that code here. So what this is going to do, this is a label and a frame text uh, and then same and the next step we have to say grid row zero and column zero okay that would be here in this project that we didn't add it here because if we add this this uh, grid is gonna be row equal zero and column equal zero and this has to show everything perfectly. Right. Uh, okay, it's showing the background color here. Oh, I also uh, said the, uh, that cool a uh, 2. That should be not. Let me remove that one. The color is becoming same. Okay, that has to be not 2. Okay. Now we can run this. See, our hello world is shown. So that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we had a little issue there, but okay.
you are a coder, problem always will become, but you have to solve it. Okay, thank you.